Well, a small number of earthquakes in California close to the Mexican border are being closely monitored. The LA Times is reporting experts are looking into whether it might raise the chance of a much larger event on the San Andreas Fault. The largest quake on Monday was a magnitude 4.6, according to the USGS. It's only the fourth time in the 88 years of modern records that such a swarm has occurred in that region. Big earthquakes on this section of the fault rupture on average every 250 years. Now, it hasn't ruptured since 1690, 330 years ago. In general, there's a 20% chance of a magnitude 7 or larger on this part of the fault over the next 30 years. Let's bring in Elena Rusk. We talk a lot about this when we get the earthquakes here and when we say the next 30 years, it seems so far, but they're not saying in 30 years. They're yeah. saying just in, in that, that time, frame. time frame, which is a lot of time. It's a lot of time. And I am fascinated by earthquake science, but I will defer to Dr. Lucy Jones. We just know that when we start seeing these swarms, it's because there's pressure building. Mm -hmm. So has the swarm relieved the pressure or is it an indicator that a slip is coming? We don't That's know. That's what we're watching. Yeah. yeah.